Mixed plaster goes through a pretty well understood setting process. It starts out flowing very easily, almost like water. Anyone who spilled it or has had it leak out of a containment area will have seen this. What you're seeing here is the setting or gelling that happens a few minutes after it's been poured. The amount of time it takes to get to this point will vary between 10 and 15 minutes or so after you start mixing the water and the powder together. This gelling state you see here gets more and more crystalline and solid as time goes. That amount of time takes anywhere from 20 minutes to a half an hour to maybe 40 minutes, depending on the ratios of plaster to water, how hard you've mixed it, the version of plaster, and so on. But this over here, what you're seeing, will take maybe another 20 minutes or so. Here, I'm pushing these metal plates into the gelling plaster. Once the plaster sets, it will be divided into pieces everywhere these metal plates were put. There's no need for cutting the plaster afterward, which would be dusty, and which would never leave the edges as clean as I would like. The metal pieces here are cut out to be exactly the shape of the container that I'm putting them in. Uh, in the previous video, you can see the shape of the empty container before I put the plaster into it. The timing is pretty important here. If you use the metal pieces too early, right after the plaster is poured, the plaster is too liquid and uh, won't hold the metal shapes. If you do it too late, then the plaster becomes too set and too brittle and you either the metal doesn't go all the way in or you uh, chip the plaster uh, something in a way that isn't, isn't very useful. To cut the metal pieces, uh, I use a hobby scoring knife, and they snap along the score. What I found is if I use scissors, uh, it uh, certainly cuts through this metal, but it, it, uh, it is not as accurate. So when the process is finished, you'll see in the next video that these plaster chunks come completely apart.